It is another athletic calendar year here at the University of Virginia. We like to welcome you into our first installment of the Orange and Blue Report presented by the UVA Health System. One of many to come here as we get ready for this 2018 football season. I'm Dave Kane, the voice of the Cavaliers, and I'm joined by my partner in crime in the broadcast booth for football season, the one and only, the Cub, Tony Covington, as we're getting ready for football coming up in just a couple weeks' time. Hard to believe we are only two weeks away, essentially, from kickoff and uh, halfway through the dog days of August. As a radio analyst, I can't wait, and as a former player, putting myself in the mindset of the players now, I'm sure they can't wait either. This is the toughest time at camp. I mean, it's hot outside. You've been working with the guys. You're waiting to play someone in a different jersey. You hear that all the time. How hard is this point in time for guys as they're trying to get to that first game? It's more mental right now. Uh, the guys are tired of seeing each other. They're tired of banging on each other. They're ready for another opponent. Yeah, it, it is not easy lifting these this time of year, but it's all for a purpose. And today we got a little bit of an insight into what that objective is. The whole season, whether it's Richmond, whether it's the games to come, uh, our broadcast boot camp, a chance for us to sit down with the coaches. We learned a lot of things here today, and I think some of it we had an idea about. But the topic on everybody's mind to start this season, look, that's quarterback play. Bryce Perkins is the new weapon for Virginia. He comes in replacing Kurt Banker, a record-setting quarterback, but a very different animal. Perkins, he brings speed that I don't think any Virginia fans have maybe ever seen at that position at this university. Yeah, well, I think they're they're more comfortable in this particular system. Uh, Kurt was was a different type from what they like to do. If they go back to BYU and thinking of the Taysom Hill years, they're much more comfortable being able to engage in this type of game planning. Speed is a big part of the puzzle here for this team here in 2018 and the fact that not only Bryce Perkins, but some of the receivers, some of the names that we heard. Tavares Kelly has been a surprise in camp. He's a freshman first year player, a receiver who could make some inroads this year, but not just Kelly. We've heard about Zacchaeus. How much does that change things if you're trying to game plan against Virginia? Well, I think what it does, you know, with an with, uh, injury here or there, it helps you overcome a lot of that with the speed on the outside uh, and, and just the multiple weapons. You, you've got a, a speedy quarterback. You've got OZ on the outside. You've got the young guy Tavares. Then you've got Joe Reed. Oh, and what about J.E. in the backfield? So I think what that does, it allows you to, to do some different things. It, al it allows you to be a little bit more innovative. And if you do make some st mistakes up front or you do get an injury that happens, as we know it to happen, uh, it gives you a, a little bit of leeway to, to overcome it. On the other side of the football, there is plenty back from a season ago, but obviously the voids you're looking to fill, uh, Micah Kaiser in the middle, Quinn Blanding in the back, but uh, Andrew Brown up front. But you talk to these coaches, it's hard for them to hide the amount of optimism they do have. That's not to say there aren't some areas they'd like to improve. I think the defensive line, obviously, with uh, not a ton of depth. They've been dealing with some injuries in both sides of the trenches in fall camp, which obviously impacts things. But besides that, you have so much back in the linebacking core. You've got a lot back in that secondary depth that I don't think this defense has seen in quite some time. Yeah, that, and that bodes well, you know, because I think what happens is you get familiarity. You know, when you've got eight guys returning, they're used to the system. It's, it's two years for them now. Uh, the coaches are talking about how safety is the most competitive area that they have back there now. So you've got a bevy of guys that you trust that are going to be there. You mentioned secondary. You had no choice in the matter because you played in the secondary. So let's go to your area of expertise. And this could be Virginia's area of expertise as a defensive unit this season. I think we're going to see a lot of different players fit into those roles. Uh, we're trying to replace a Quinn Blanding, but a lot of candidates. Yeah, I mean, you've got a lot of versatility back there. You've got a guy who was the returning rookie of the year in Brenton Nelson. You've got a, a young guy, Joey Blunt, that got some some significant some significant time last season. Uh, and then you've got Chris Moore, who is that versatile safety, maybe linebacker type. Oh yeah, and then you've got the best athlete out of all of them in Juan Thornhill, who's put on more size and is, is faster. So you've got a lot of potential production just from those four individuals, and we haven't even talked about the corners yet. Tim went down a little bit. You know, Tim has had a little bit of struggle with staying healthy, and, you know, they always say you can't make the club in the tub. And so when Tim was injured this, you know, during the camp, well, Darius got an opportunity to get, that, get reps, and he's shining. And so, you know, he's, he's looking at this as an opportunity for him. Tim has to look at it like, okay, if I want to get out there and be the guy, number five out on that island, then I've got to show and prove, stay healthy, do my thing. 
Those are just a couple of the storylines that we will be watching here in the final two weeks of fall camp going into that season opener against the Richmond Spiders on September the 1st. We'll be bringing in the new season coming up on August 31st. Paint the town orange day in downtown Charlottesville. But before that, on virginiasports.com, make sure you can check out a number of great pieces coming up. It's coming up on Monday, it's the road home. We go back to Charlotte Courthouse, Virginia to catch up with Joe Reed and find out what his path to UVA was like. And don't forget more orange and blue reports coming up as well as we get closer to football season. But for now, for Tony Covington, I'm Dave Kane. Thanks for checking in.